Hello guys and welcome to part 2 of the Battle of Crocus Plain. This is a battle fought between the Macedons or Macedonians or Macedonians if you want. I uh, will go with the hard C and I hope you don't mind too much. And they are battling the Phokians who are down here, uh, in the orange box here. And um, I think there was a kind of cool action already in the first uh, first part. We, we opened up with some skirmish and then we saw Parmenion located there with his cavalry charge. The charge were not that successful in the beginning but <clears throat> the second wave uh, really broke the uh, Phokian uh, left. Uh, but now they have retreated back since the Phokians responded with moving some medium heavy troops against the direction of the cavalry so they moved back but they have really been successful they have gained four victory banners for the Macedons there so uh, yeah we could call that a successful initial cavalry charge indeed and also we have seen some heavy troops uh, break out from the line starting to move to, to meet these uh, Phokians who shifted a bit to the left here. <clears throat> Over here we have seen bas basically some skirmishing happening with uh, lighter losses on both sides. We have some light units taking hits there, over there too. And here is also uh, uh, the auxiliaries uh, belonging to Antipater who is attached there. Those also took some hits from these uh, stone slingers. These guys have been quite successful in, the, in their skirmishing, I believe. So, uh, so the Phokians don't have any victory banners as of yet, but uh, let's see what happens. Here's uh, the Macedons, or the Macedonians. And this card I don't think we had in the last time, so this was a new withdraw. Uh, it's a class of shields, really good when it uh, later on when it's getting heat, heated up this battle, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, two in the center, light troops, leadership any section, or three units left. Well, we could. Yeah, it's a question. The thing is, if we start moving up, let's say we play the leadership in the section and, and start with Philip, we could move one hex forward, but then we give the Phokians the first strike if they move up and, and battle us. And I don't really s want to see that, so I might take it a bit easy. We are in a lead, so we don't have any... we don't have to hurry. Um, I'm actually thinking of playing three units over there to skirmish, or perhaps the light troops. That good could give us five light troops to activate. <clears throat> not bad at all, not bad at all. We could actually get in quite a few skirmishing with that card. Let's do it. So play the light troops, I think, this time. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna organize here a bit, like that. So light troop it is, and I'm uh, gonna activate the lights over there. We're gonna activate lights. Uh, these guys, these guys, and these guys, and that's five. So these guys will just move up here. They are preparing themselves for the clash, so they can move into the side and do some skirmishing if needed, or block some retreat paths. Uh, Antipater will actually now prepare for the big clash, so he will join up with the center going there, two hexes with his auxiliaries, and uh, 
these guys just move here. These guys move forward one hex, they can now battle. And these guys move two hexes here, they can also battle. So we have two ranged combats to do. Let's start here against those lights. Let's see if we can force them back again. Uh, not forced back, but we got a hit on them. Really, really good. So they're down to two now. We're kind of lucky with our skirmishing here. Well, both sides have been pretty lucky. And then we have these guys who could put, put some bow fire. They cannot see these guys, so they have to uh, put the fire on the slingers. It's one die. And that's a miss. So that's basically it. But we have a kind of oblique line here starting to move against the Fokians. I, I, I like that. <coughs> So, Fokians, what to do now? Um, double time. We could get in the first hit with this card. Hmm. Interesting. This is good. This we cannot play. Dark in the Sky is also quite okay because we have now two units out of three lights who could fire twice. So this is also interesting. This card we cannot use and this card we could also use just to put some fire but I don't think I want to play that. I'm, I'm actually... <clears throat> I'll play Eve either the double time or the dark in the sky now. I'm gonna roll an even check for that. So one to three we play the double time and go all in with the big battle now. Or we will go with a one more turn of skirmishing before attacking and dark in the sky. But it is the more aggressive uh, option. So, on a Marcus and his uh, medium heavy infantry will now rush forward to try to end this battle. <clears throat> Let's see. Four of your units in a group. Two hex and steel battle. No ranged combat. Okay. So it's these mediums who will attack. And uh, one, two. One, two. Wow. Now we're gonna see some real, real cool action here, I'm sure of that. So let's start here. It's uh, four dice, but these guys can evade. We got no blue, so no hits there. Now it's up to get getting interesting here, so I'll start on this flank. So I'll attack here uh, with four dice again. <clears throat> and now we have this leader with us. And that's a load of hits. It's four hits and they only have three blocks left, so they are eliminated. Uh, and we get the first Fokian banner by that at last. And we gotta check Antipater. And he became a casualty. Wow. He died in this unexpected rush of the Fokians. So they now got their uh, uh, second banner. So now they're evening out. And this is not all. You know, these guys will now move in and they can battle again since they had a leader with them. So I'll go for these heavies now. Four dice. That's one hit, that's two hits and a flag, and they are not supported. So, two hits, and uh, yeah, they need to take that flag, which is kind of bad actually, because now these guys don't have any target, that was bad. 
Uh, but they moved back here. I could take the ground again if I wanted to, but I, I will not do that. So these guys don't have any target anymore. That was bad. Too bad. Okay, but we have one more attack. It's on Marcus himself attacking Philip of Macedon. Wow, this is a yep, epic clash. Um, but that was not too impressive of our roll. We only got one hit. We're still gonna check the fate of uh, uh, Philip. He's fine. And now he will battle back with his uh, heavy phalanxes. Five dice. And one and two hits and a flag. So let's take the uh, hits first. Then we'll check if Marcus survived. He did not. He fell in the battle against Philip. Or the so Oh my, this, they gained another banner by that. Okay, this was not good. So maybe they want to take that flag now. Yes, they do. They, they're gonna retreat here. Alright, that was not good. Uh, two bad things happened. First of all, this is maybe the first, the most uh, important. On the Marcus fell, these guys really decimated. We only got one of them. And a lost opportunity to battle against uh, that guy. That was bad. I should maybe have attacked those guys instead with those, and then I could have this battle. Ah, uh, yeah, that would have been more wise to do, but well, it's always easy to be wise afterwards, right? So, <clears throat> well, that was a double time, and that's a, that was a brave effort by the Phokians, at least. I guess you agree about that. So now it's the Macedons, and they need one more banner, you know. How can we achieve that? I think we can achieve that by... Oh, they also got a double time now, by the way. They got the Clash of Shields, we could use it at one place right now, not really what I'm looking for. Uh, hmm. Well... Well... The obvious one is to attack these guys, right, with Philip, and that should do it. Um, yeah, we dare to do it. I mean, we are in such a lead, 5-2. to two. So I take this card, I will activate those guys, and let's take those guys as well. They will move here. These guys will link up with the main line here. And now it's time for some battle. And we let's start with Philip. Let's see if we can end this now. So it's five dice. And I would need two hits, and that should not be impossible, right? We got one and two hits, just what we needed. So this phalanx fell. And we gain the sixth banner for the Macedons, the Macedonians, and uh, Philip is uh, victorious by that. And uh, well, Falcons start to fall back now. They are really scattered, and uh, the rest is history, right? <laughs> they they will rush into the sea, try to get into safety of the of the ships uh, anchored just outside of the battle board here. Many will drown, many will be catched by the cavalry, and and 6,000 men will fall, uh, these guys, today. That's, uh, that's hard, <clears throat> to say the least. Well, anyway, interesting battle. Um, I wasn't expecting to do the cavalry charge 
that early in the game I thought I'll, I'd see the big clash starting and then I would activate the cavalry but I got that opportunity with a mounted charge card and all that you know so I, I couldn't just restrain myself <laughs> I had to uh, release the cavalry there and well in the end that was a a good choice right I mean they didn't even get one of our cavalries uh, in their battle backs or, or uh, counterattacks so we managed to get off with all the cavalry as the Macedonian and uh, well the focus were kind of crippled they lo lost all of their guys in the left and uh, had an open flank here so they tried you know to play all on one card a double time and charging get the first hits into the heavies and indeed they it started very good here uh, then didn't go as expected for the rest of the battles here so well that sealed the doom for the Phokians. I mean if they had been more successful in the first double time attack here I think we could have seen a few more turns and even they could even have catched up if the uh, Macedonians couldn't respond too well but they had good cards I mean they also had this double time that the class of shield and the leadership so they have loads of cards to respond with so in the end I think perhaps we would have seen a, a Macedonian victory anyway even though uh, the Phokians could have gained a few more banners uh, that's it basically and on this flank well Kind of as expected, only some skirmishing, no banners dealt there, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think there were no uh, removed units from that flank. So basically, it happened here with a cavalry charge, and in the end, when the phalanxes met. Uh, yeah. So, that was that. Really fun. I think we have one more, uh, one more battle with uh, Philip II, and uh, we'll look at that next. So thank you very much for watching and uh, see you again. Bye bye.